All right, here we go. Let's work. Hey there, Mission Control. Well, you are looking at my first time welding stainless steel sheet metal to stainless steel tube to create my very first ever tank that is a custom designed tank that supports our indoor grow tower systems to grow potatoes, corn, hemp, uh, carrots, onions, lettuce, strawberries, fruits, herbs, a whole bunch of different things. That's what this is. Now, it's my first time ever, so be gentle. Uh, let me show you what I did. So one of the very first things you'll notice is that this is not a traditional, you know, shaped tank. It actually has multiple slopes to it. Now that is on purpose. Uh, the reason I couldn't just go buy a tank is because the tank that I need does not exist. I need a tank that slopes to a central location uh, at a certain slope rate so that fish waste, aquaculture waste, slowly makes its way down to that central drain so that we do not have to clean the tank. So that that waste, which is stuff that we don't want, will just pile up and then eventually we just open a valve and through gravity and the pressure of water, all the waste is pushed out. So that's why we have a slope coming down, another slope and another slope here and why I had to do so much welding. Uh, this is all 24 gauge. Now originally I, we don't need 24 gauge, we only need a 22 gauge, but luckily someone who knew a lot more than I did told me you're not gonna be able to weld 22 gauge. Uh, I'm saying that backwards. It was 26 gauge, sorry. And we moved up to 24 gauge and I'm still having a hard time welding it. What I ended up having to do, TIG welding, even at 25 amps with a 0.04 diameter, that's inch, that's one millimeter um, tungsten, at 25 amps was still burning through this stuff, even when it was sitting on tube, meaning it had a backer on it. It is just too thin. And I'm not able, and that's with argon, 100% argon gas. I am not able to get it to not burn through. So what I ended up having to do is uh, spot welds using the Lincoln Electric uh, in MIG mode and uh, spot welded everything in and then go back through and spot weld it. I've also basically done a double weld, spot welded on the outside and then started welding on the inside though because the metal is so thin, it is really, really darn hard. But I'm still pretty proud of myself, you know? A pro welder is going to look at this and be like, <laughs> and I kind of am too. But still, I did it. I didn't know how to do it when I first started, like how to put it all together and all that. The fact that it's together and that it's going to hold water is a pretty big deal. But let's talk about holding water. A lot of you have already commented on it, and that is it's really hard to get a watertight seal when you're welding uh, like this. And so what I did is I took my shop light and I put it on the other side and I went through, put it at a whole bunch of different angles and I marked where all of the light holes that I could see were at so that I can go through and target weld each of those sections and hopefully get them all enclosed, which is what we're going to be working on today. And if all goes well, we'll be able to put water in this thing and uh, it will hold. Now, I cannot say this enough. This is not the way that we're going to build them when we go to production. That has never been the idea. We are building out of stainless steel for two reasons. One, it's food grade material. And two, you don't have to pay for tooling in order to build it. Uh, this tank, for example, should be a high density polyethylene, which is food grade safe plastic that just slides right into its frame. The frame could even be high density polyethylene it doesn't need to be the quarter inch thick, one inch tube that I have. Uh, the only reason we have that type of material is because I need it for how it all connects to each other. And it was commercial off the shelf. I didn't have to get a custom size made. So we are, we're gonna build four of these towers. I need to build three of these fish tanks. You'll see all this come together on the channel, so stay tuned. But we're gonna build them out of stainless just so we can build them and prove that they work. Once they're proven that they work and we get all of our design issues and everything learned from these prototypes, we'll update the design and we'll send that off and we'll get tooled up uh, as part of our fundraising for uh, eating grosses. So what I need to do today, what I'm hopeful for is that I can get all these holes tacked up, which I have marked with the marker. Uh, you will notice warping, I don't care. Uh, again, this is a prototype to prove that the system works. 
I don't care that these have warped. In fact, there's really no way I could have stopped it. I use aluminum backers. I use steel backers. Well, not steel, just aluminum backers. Uh, and I, whatever. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't matter. At this point, what we need to do is get water in this thing, finish welding it, and then start building the next section of the deck. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I've been welding on it for a while. I, I've done four uh, light checks on it. I think I got them all filled in. Oi, oi, oi. I'll find out here. A few more pieces here to get this level. I'm hesitant to send it out because one, it's cold and everything's harder right now. And two, <clears throat> they're going to tell me the amount of labor that's required is going to be very, very high it is and then I'm gonna get put onto some schedule somewhere that may or may not support what we're trying to do as far as schedules go <clears throat> so I'm not excited about that and then just them interpreting and us going back and forth right now we'll see here we're gonna see real quick if it's worth it or not. You can see those welds in there. They are nasty and horrible. I know it, you know it. So we can get past that part. Oi, it's been rough to say the least. It has been rough. Oh, of course it just doesn't want. All right, here we go. Let's work. So I'm thinking if I do send stuff out, I'll weld all the frames because that I can do and I'm very, I'm feeling confident about that. And then I'll, I can take the frames in and I can have them put the uh, metal onto it, the sheet metal, and have the pros do that part. That's kind of the best of both worlds, I guess. Save the most money and save the most time. We're gonna go mobile here. You guys can see these are little itty bitty spots and quite a bit under there after hours of welding and that one's starting to buckle there so i'm glad i stopped there that's a lot of weight let's see it's going there look pretty though looks like stainless steel so obviously i have some decisions to make here i i kind of like the idea of i'll do the frame and then take in the sheeting and have the pros do that. Uh, I have to think it through. I, I need to make some phone calls. We only have two welding shops here in the local area. Otherwise, we're talking about quite a few hours away. Uh, so we'll have to see if they're available, see what their timing looks like. Something like this, you know, maybe I just make it all stick together and I just use a bunch of silicone and silicone it up get a seal on it and move on you know maybe that's it for this go round uh, since we're not doing stainless in the long haul maybe that's it so uh, hey thanks for following along hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe don't forget to ring that bell to get notified when I release new videos and if uh, you can follow us on Facebook Twitter and on Instagram if you really like what you're doing we if you really like what we're doing you can help us out on patreon in the meantime this is a real Martian out